Hey guys, welcome back to the series of Django. As we are doing the hospital management system using the Django framework, we have done setting the URLs. In this tutorial, we are doing the sign up page for this website. So let's get started. But before getting into the sign up page, I need to set the URLs and create views for the pages of login and create account pages. So for that first I'll change the templates. In the previous video I have created a new HTML file for the navbar so that we need not change every page for setting URLs. But we just need to include that file in the templates needed. So for that I'll open the index.html file and remove the navbar component here. And now I will include the navbar.html file here. So for that I'll say braces mod space include space navbar.html and this is the way you include a file in Django. So the same process will be done with the create account page and also for the login page also. So let me first create them and come back. And yes. I have done changing the templates and let's create some views and URLs. So for that I'll open the views.py file and create a view for create account page that is a dev space create account page of request and then I'll say return space render of request comma create account dot html and also for login I'll say def space login page of request and then return space render of request comma login dot html. So that's for the views and now let's create the URLs for these. So for that open the urls.py file and add the path that is a path of create account slash comma create account page comma name is equal to create account page. And also for the login path of login slash comma login page comma name is equal to login page. Save these files and now we need to give these path names in the template. For that I'll open the navbar.html file. In the navbar item for login I will enter url space login page. And for the create account I will enter URL space create account page. Save all these files and start your server and open the link in your browser. And now it should navigate to all the pages in the navbar. And yes, it's working well. So now let's get into the creating an account that is a sign up. So this is the create account page. There are some things that you should remember about this project. That is only patient can create an account on his own because he is the primary user for this website and whereas the doctor and the receptionist cannot create their account on their own because if they are open anyone can create an account in this website as doctor or receptionist but that's not the case right so for that admin creates the account for doctors and as well as the receptionist so the sign up page is only for the patients. So this website takes the name of the patient, email, password and uh, confirming the password, gender, phone number, address, date of birth and blood group. These are the details that a patient should give while registering the account. And now let's get into the code. As the developer we need to think how it's going to work in the background. So for that the users enter all these details. As soon as the user clicks on create account button which should be the submit type and we should get the data from the form where the user has entered the details and we need to save them in the database. So for this condition to be applied we need to have some attributes in the form. The first one is the method type for the form should be post and the next one is to protect the data from attacks after submitting. Django provides the cross site request forgery protection. So for that we need to enter CSRF token 
in the form and the third one is every input tag must have a name attribute as you can see I have given the name of this input as name and similarly here as email and similarly here as password and also repeat password etc save this template and now everything is good but where we need to save the data that is the details of the user so for that we need to create some models models is the one like tables in other query languages so for now to create the models we need to open the models.py file and now we need to create a model for that i'll enter class space patient of models dot model and now we need to create some columns so for that first we need to take the name so i'll say name is equal to models dot care field and we need to specify the maximum length so i'll give some 50 that is max underscore length is equal to 50 similarly we need to create for everything we store about the user so i'll enter email is equal to models dot email field of unique is equal to true because the email should be unique so to say it more clear it is the primary key for this model and the next is password but we do not save the password in models because if we save them in the models admin can see the password so it should not be visible right so I'll discuss about this a little later so the next one is gender so I'll give gender is equal to models dot care field of max underscore length is equal to 10 next is phone number is equal to models dot care field of max underscore length is equal to 10 similarly I will give for address is equal to models dot care field of max underscore length is equal to 100 for birth date I'll say models dot date field and the last is blood group is equal to models dot care field of max underscore length is equal to 5 the parameter max underscore length is just a random number you can also give as per your choice and now I will write a function like this that is a def space underscore underscore str underscore underscore of self and I'll enter written space self dot name I will directly show you why I have written this function a little later so save this file and now we need to apply this model for the project open your command prompt in your project folder so as we have discussed in the previous lectures if you have created a new model other than defaults first you should make migrations that is python manage.py make migrations and the next we need to have python manage.py migrate and yes the model have been applied to this project for the admin to view this model on his page we need to register this model for that open the admin.py file in the application folder that is hospital and here first we need to import the model for that I will enter from dot models import hash I am importing all the models in the models file so this will import all models in models.py file and now we need to register our model that is admin.site.register of patient so this is the name of the model which we have created before so to check whether this process have been done correctly open your command prompt and start your server and open this project in your browser now navigate to the admin page that is uh, you need to add admin slash with your IP address and now log in with the credentials of the super user that is a uh, admin and the password is also admin and click on login as you can see we got the model patient till now everything is working fine and now we should get the values which we have entered in the form and next 
we have to save them to the database. We will be having a doubt that where we should write the logic for getting the values or storing them in the database. So for that, I need to say this. Every action with the page will be handled only in the views.py file. So we need to go there and make some changes with the create account page view. First, in the views.py file, we need to import our models because we need to save the data in the models, right? So I'll say from dot models space import has risk. And now in the view, here I'll say if request.method is equal to equal to post because the method type given for the form is post type. And now we should get the values from the form. For that, I'll say name is equal to request.post of name and next email is equal to request.post of email password is equal to request.post of password repeat password is equal to request.post of repeat password gender is equal to request.post of gender phone number is equal to request.post of phone number address is equal to request.post of address birth date is equal to request.post of date of birth and blood group is equal to request.post of blood group and by entering this we have got all the values from the form and now we should send them to database for that i'll use the try accept method so I'll say try and I have a condition that passwords entered in the password field and repeat password field should be same. Then only the values from the form should be saved in the database. So for that I'll say if password is equal to equal to repeat password. Then to insert the values into the database we have a statement that is patient dot objects dot create here we need to enter the column name given in the model that is a uh, name is equal to name of the variable where we have the value from the form so that is a uh, name comma similarly for the other email is equal to email Gender is equal to gender, phone number is equal to phone number, comma address ka equal to address, birth date is equal to birth date, blood group is equal to blood group. As you can see, I did not give password in this because we do not have the column in the database for passwords. And now to make our website authenticated, Django provides an authentication system which consists of users, comma, permissions, comma, groups, etc. And we know that patient is also a user and he comes under the patient group as we have created in the previous lectures. So the user who created an account, his details will be saved in the models and his authentication details will be stored in users. So for that, we should first import user and group in views.py file. For that, I'll enter from django.contrib.auth.models import user comma group. And now I'll say user is equal to user.objects.create underscore user. Here we are creating the user that is the patient. Previously, we have saved the other details of the patient in models. And now here I'll say first underscore name is equal to these are the parameters you should give while creating a user so first name is equal to the name which we got from the user that is name itself and email is equal to email password is equal to password and username is equal to this also i'll give as email for my convenience because username can also be the email also right so and the next one we need to initialize the user to be none that is user is equal to none 
and now the authentication is made secure because even the admin cannot view the password of the patient because we have saved in the users model and now we need to assign this user to the group which is patient first i need to end up pat underscore group which is the shortcut for patient group that is equal to group dot objects dot get off name is equal to patient this is the group name which we have entered previously and now i'll say pat underscore group dot user underscore set dot add off user we are adding this user to the patient group and now to save the data in the user model we need to say user dot save all this process should be done only when the password and repeat password are equal what if they are not equal for that i'll take a variable like yes or no type that is error i will first initialize that to be null that is uh, error is equal to empty inverted commas and now in the if statement since all this works we'll say there is no error that is error is equal to no in the else part i'll say error is equal to yes same in the except also i'll say error is equal to yes and now i'll send this error to the create account page for that i'll make a dictionary like this d is equal to flower braces space and i will enter the key that is a uh, error colon the value is also error that is a variable which we have created and now i'll send this d as the third parameter of this render function to create account.html page and open the create account.html file and here i'll give some alert if there is no error for that i'll say here if equal error is no and i'll open the script tag i'll say alert of you have successfully signed up and i will redirect him to the login page for that i'll say window dot location of i'll enter the url that is a login page and close the script and also close if equal and similarly if there is an error for that i'll just write the alert that something went wrong so save the file and open your browser and refresh the page and now let's create our first account in django so i'll enter all the details like test patient etc and now i'll click on create account button as you can see it gives an alert that is uh, you have successfully signed up and i got redirect to the login page to check whether the details are getting saved open the admin panel and check in the patient model you can see a row with patient name because while creating the model we have given that written space self dot name which is the patient name we are returning there so that's why it shows the only the patient name outside by clicking on it you can view all the details of the patient so that's it for now hope you guys like this video make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for instant notifications from my channel thanks for watching